I'm preparing to do a little sewing in my home and I have lots of different little threads and I've got some needles if you can see those I have fabric scissors and I have some things that I need to work on sewing but I realized I don't have a pin cushion here I had a great idea I took a sock that I no longer have a match for I filled it with another sock that I don't have a match for and I'm going to stuff one end in and sew that shut and then the top end I'm going to give a cut and then I'm going to tie a very tight loop knot I've been trying to find the match to this sock for quite some time and since I never found it now I have a cute little pin cushion <laughs> maybe you'll try that we're going to begin remember my pin cushion here's my embroidery needle I'm going to hold it in my fingers and thread this through the eye of the needle. Now sometimes it needs a little wiggle to get in. Ah, I think I got it. Did it go? Oh, I dropped it. Let me try again. If I hold the thread at the very, very end and touch it to the hole of the needle, the eye of the needle, then I can pull it through. That'll work. I'll stick it back in here to tie my knot. Do you remember how we tie knots? I'm going to twist a loop and pull the ends through. I know it's right if it looks a bit like a pretzel. You see that pretzel? I'll pull it tight now. Okay, I've thread my needle. And now I'm going to start to sew. I think I'll sew this one first. Now you can see where the, there was some yarn stitches closing this up. I'm going to start before that so that I can make sure that gets nice and strengthened. Now you want to stop when you feel your knot. Remember, I'm choosing to make my style of sewing visible so that when you see the sweater, you can tell where it's been mended. I like this style. You might choose to use a different color, like me, or the same color so that your mending is invisible. I'm going through and back up to close up the hole. Almost done. This was a long hole. Seeing these red stitches makes me feel pretty happy. I think I'm going to enjoy wearing this sweater with its mending. Okay, I've come to the end of the hole and check it out. I closed it all the way up. Let's look on the other side. Stitches are smaller on this side, but here's the knot and there's the little tail. Now I'm going to sew a knot. 
I'll go in and see my loop. I caught back through it and I pull it tight. We'll do that one more time with a smaller stitch. Now I'm going to go back through and do it once on the inside. There we go. Okay. Needle goes in the pincushion. Trusty scissors give a cut. And I'm going to cut this one too because I don't need it to be that long. I've done one mend, but as you can see, I've got lots more to do. Look how big this one is. Whoa! I might use all the colors of the rainbow to mend this sweater. I'll show you when I'm done. Check it out. I've got two red mens, one really long purple one, a blue one on this side, and blue one on this side. My sweater's got some colorful mending. I think that's pretty fun. Now remember, if you want your mending to be totally invisible, you might choose a color of thread that matches. But if you like the way it looks when you can see your mending, choose one of your favorite colors. All right, that's my mending video. I hope it helps inspire you to fix some of your clothes on these days. Goodbye.